kids, Magical Molly here. Today we're going to use Kids Skills, the simple handwriting program, to teach us how to write a capital G. You see, we have two pictures on here, a goat and a goal, and those both start with G. So when you're all done with your paper, I want you to color in the goat and the goal. Now G is a magic C letter, and I'm Magical Molly, so I really like G. To make a G, it's like making a C, except you go up and in. Pretty easy. You're going to start here just a little bit below the top line, and you're going to go up, make a C, go up and go in. Can you do that? If you nailed the C, then you can do this. Let's try it again. Go up, make a C, go up and go in. This one might take some practice. But I know you can do it. This line is for tracing and if you have a hard time with G's I want you to trace and trace and trace and ask somebody to write them for you so you can trace. When I trace this line I like to use blue because capital G is a sky dweller that means it touches the top line and the bottom line. On this line I'm gonna write G's at every single dot and on this line, I'm going to write eight goofy G's all on my own. I will be right back to show you how to write a capital G. Alrighty, kids, now it's time to demonstrate how I write capital G. First thing I'm going to do is tilt my paper, and that's going to help you as you get older and have to do a ton of writing. It's going to help you with your wrist. I'm going to pick a color. The color I picked is blue, and I like these pipsqueaks, but I chose blue because capital G is a sky dweller. That means it touches the top line and the bottom line. Let me demonstrate. To trace capital G, I'm going to make a C first, because remember, capital G is a magic C letter, and I'm Magical Molly, so I love capital G. I'm going to start just a little bit below the top line, I'm going to go up a little, make a C, I'm going to go up and in, G. Pretty cool. Let's do that again. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in, G. Awesome. Let's do it one more time. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in, G. All right, I want you to continue to trace the rest of these letters. And next, I'm going to put a capital G at each dot. So again, I say the same things. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in, G. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in, G. Notice, watch this, go up a little, make a C, go up and in. Did you notice I didn't pick up my marker when I'm writing the capital G? And I don't want you to either. Now I showed you how I made a G at each dot and I have about a finger space in between. I want you to go ahead and continue that line. And here it says write eight goofy G's all on your own. So again I'm going to start just a little bit below the top line. I'm going to go up a little, make a C, go up and in. Looks good. Let's do it again. Start a little bit below the top line. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in. Excellent. We will do it one more time. Go up a little, make a C, go up and in. G. I took my time when I did these and I want you to either. When your teacher or your parent tells you that your paper is great, I want you to go ahead and color in these pictures of a goat and goal. And remember to stay in the lines. You can do this with practice, practice, practice. And always remember to be good to your teachers and good to your parents. Bye bye kids. See you next time.